here. So I don't know if you can tell, but I have a little bit of a lisp right now. Can't even say that word, lisp. Last week I got my wisdom teeth pulled and it really, really sucked. And I heard that the only cool part was after you wake up after the sedation, you get a little bit loopy and act a little bit weird. But after I woke up, I was just in pain and I was a very normal person. I have a little bit of a chipmunk cheek right here that I'm hiding. Anyway, I'm gonna show you five ways you can use your waffle maker to make really super easy foods. Let's go. Omelets are my literal favorite thing to eat in the morning. So you wanna start off with two eggs and six tablespoons of egg whites. If you wanna make it more fluffy, add a tablespoon of water. Now add in whatever you want. I added in turkey bacon. And then spray your waffle maker because the worst thing that could ever happen is that you would stick everywhere and you can wash it. Now close up for two minutes and voila! Look at that perfection! How quick, guys, how quick. Add a spoonful of salsa, and you've got yourself an easy omelet for brekkie. Look, I don't know about you, but when I was a kid, I used to beg for McDonald's hash browns. They were so good. But now, since I can cook, I can make my own and healthify them. So what you wanna do is grate up a parsnip and also some medium red potatoes, and then you're going to squeeze the life out of them so that you don't get a soggy waffle. Cause, come on guys, who wants a soggy waffle? Now you're gonna add a tablespoon of ghee, which is basically butter oil with all the milk components removed and then a tablespoon of egg whites to really make everything stick together. Salt and pepper, and you want to mix it up. Make sure you've already sprayed your waffle maker and spread that baby in there, and close it up for 15 minutes. Meanwhile, let's make a perfect egg. So you're gonna add an egg and an ice cube. What, an ice cube? I know, it's a trick, but look, look how perfect that sunny side up is. Have you seen anything more perfect? When your hash brown is golden brown, take it out and slide that sexy egg on top. Smear some sriracha, and bam, guys, you've got a sexy Instagram breakfast photo. Quesadillas, who doesn't love quesadillas? Cause I love me some quesadilla. So I'm gonna start out with a low carb tortilla. You can just get that at the store and add in your cheese and your vegetables, whatever you wanna put inside, some beans. I'm making this one vegetarian, so I'm not using any meat. And then you're just gonna close it up. Literally within a minute or two, you will have a quesadilla to eat for yourself or to share with your friends. And if you wanna get a little fancy, add a little bit of guac on top. Doesn't this make you salivate? Come on, doesn't it make you salivate? Tell me it does. I don't usually go to Italian restaurants, but when I do, I always get the caprese or caprese salad. So today we're gonna do a sandwich inspired by that. I'm using gluten-free bread and I'm adding in all the ingredients. So the mozzarella, cheese, the sun-dried tomatoes, the basil leaves. All we're gonna do is press it for like a minute, cut it in half, diagonal of course, and check out that masterpiece. <laughs> dessert time, I got you covered. These cookies are so healthy and just too easy. So mash up a ripe banana, go ahead and add an egg, a cup of oats and two tablespoons of raisins and a couple packets of stevia to help sweeten it. Pinch of cinnamon and you wanna mix it up. Now put in your waffle maker, squeeze it and after a couple minutes, you got cookies. They're 65 calories each, they're chunky, they're good and they're good for you. did it and guess what? I don't get to eat anything. It's really sad because one of the best things about shooting food videos is that you get to eat everything afterwards. And right now all I can eat is mush. I'm talking about baby food status. I'm talking about smoothies every day. And it's been about a week now and I can't even handle mashed potatoes because they have little chunkers in them and you don't know that until you get your wisdom teeth pulled. Anyway, hopefully you will make them. Let me know how they taste. If you do, please take a pic and hashtag Cheat Clean Eats so that I can go like and comment and pretend I'm eating them with you. All right guys, until next time, keep eating clean and I'll see you later. Bye.